Okay, folks, so we're in a situation here where we're going to have two tricky types of questions. And you've already figured out the basics, but here's two trick questions. And sure enough, you might see them on your upcoming quiz, so why not talk about them first, eh? Okay, so it says the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 1,800 degrees. It sounds hot, but we're not talking about heat here. We're talking about, um, <laughs> we're talking about the degrees of an angle. So... How many sides does this polygon have? Okay, before, they used to tell us the number of sides, right? And what did you do before? They'd tell us the number of sides. You would take off two, and then after finding that, you would times by 180 to get your answer. Okay? So that would be how you get your total answer. All right? This is a situation where it's the opposite. So you take the 1800, Okay. Feel free to check this video out before you watch the next or before you do the next quiz just to make sure that you catch on to this. So you do the opposite of what we did here. Instead of well you divide by 180 first of all. And if you do that on your calculator, you're going to end up getting the number of sides, okay? So the number of sides is 10. That's not really the number of sides, though. That's just a number, because remember what we had to do? We, we, we took the sides and we subtracted 2. So you do the opposite of what we did before. So you add 2, and you get your final answer that we actually have here a 12-sided figure. Okay, And that is, that is what they were asking. And you can verify. Let's just verify that we did this right, okay? So we've got 12 sides, we believe. So put the 12 right there. 12 minus 2 is 10. And what's 10 times 180? 1,800. We did it. Okay. So that is how you do this kind of question. Now I'm going to skip over to one more tricky kind of question. Ooh, look at that. Okay, did you notice the screen jump there? That's because I made a mistake and uh, I'm redoing this part. <laughs> you might have noticed a little change in this area here. But anyway, Here's how you do a question like this. Look at that. We've got X's going on here. You haven't seen stuff like that since our first unit uh, where we did some algebra together. So the way you deal with a question like this, and the question, by the way, is going to say, what is the value of X? They want to know what X is. How do we figure that out? Well, here's the first step. Figure out what all of these angles have to add up to. Now it's a four-sided shape, so you might remember a four-sided shape always adds up to 360. But if you forget that, just go like this. A four-sided shape, subtract 2, and you get 2. Then you times it by 180, and that becomes 360 degrees, just like we talked about in the last couple videos, okay? How to figure out the sum of the interior angles of any kind of polygon. This is a four-sided uh, shape. It's called a quadrilateral, a quad. Most of you have heard what a quad is, and a quad having four wheels and something you go through the woods with. But anyway, this is a four-sided shape called a quadrilateral. It has 360 degrees total. So what you do is you add up all of these strange-looking things uh, and make them equal to 360. Okay, so let's do it. We've got, uh, should we start with this one? 60 plus x, okay, you can put it in brackets if you want, uh, plus, let's do the other bracketed one down here, 105 minus x, boy, the pen sometimes does that, and then we have plus 95 plus 20x, and that equals, got to squeeze it in there, 360, okay. Now the next step is is to get rid of the brackets, but the good thing is here is that our brackets are actually, they're both positive. There's a plus sign here and a plus sign here. If there was a minus sign, then we'd have to go and change the interior or the inside signs. We'd have to take the opposite signs and all of that, but to get rid of brackets when there's a plus sign is actually just make them disappear. So let's not, let's skip a step and let's go to the next one, which would be, <clears throat> let's add like terms. So, hmm. Let's take the x's first of all. So there's one. Here's one. That's a negative x. And here's one over here. Okay. x minus x is 
nothing. It's zero. And over here we have a 20x. So I'm going to write 20x. Okay? I'm going to cross those out. We're done looking at those. Now let's look at the other like terms. Well, here's a regular old number 60, a regular old 105, and a 95. 60 plus 105 is 165. Okay? 165 plus 95. Let's see, that's 165, 265, take away 5, 260, plus 260 equals 360. All right, the next step, what we would want to do is get rid of the 260, bring it over here. So the way to do that, remember, is subtract by 260 over here, subtract by 260 over here, and what do we end up with? Well, we get 20x equals 100. And then the last step is, let's get rid of the 20 by dividing both sides by 20. Divide this side by 20. And that leaves us with x equals 5. We have now figured out what the value of angle x is. x is 5 degrees. And if you were to test this out and put you know, 20 times 5 and 60 plus 5 is 65 and 105 minus 5 is 100 and 95. If you were to add all those up, you would get 360 degrees. I will leave it up to you if you decide to do such a thing. Now, good luck with moving on to your quiz. Have fun.